you know, something that we jump past that we probably need to talk about that, which we shouldn't have, which we should have is um, when we were talking about some of these thiol boosting ingredients. Uh, why don't you talk to me uh, about Phantasm? I remember when uh, when you when you when you sent me the picture of that label and you're getting ready to start throwing around some grape skins. So, yeah, we uh, got lucky. I kind of went through this weird process of getting my hands on it but i got it the dark web year. yeah yeah <laughs> well no i mean like the whole process to get it like a year ago is so weird i i mean no offense to you know yas at phantasm but yeah i had to hit him up on instagram or something and it was like hey how do i get some of this and they're like let me take a look at your brewery and what you're doing kind of thing and <laughs> so they accepted us and we got some. So yeah, we've been using it quite a bit. And I would What do you say, find specifically from that? Is it like a is it like a tropical chardonnay thing that you get off that or is that more specifically like the guava passion fruit? I would say the thing about Phantasm is it's it's going to be more one dimensional in a sense and depending on what crop you get it'll it'll change i'm sure but you know like you can use a ton of it and it's all just passion fruit guava in your face or yeah. you can dial it back again talking about this dialing back and just add complexity to the beer then it's just another part of the beer at that point but i've been looking at phantasm as like adding complexity versus like making it the star of the the, the sure. beer at this point the the first ipa i i made with it i went all out and it was like salvo oil and a ton of phantasm <laughs> and mash hop yeah and yeah people <laughs> freaking loved it and people keep talking about it and they keep wanting it and i'm like no <laughs> No, let's now, what, style it back why did a you why bit. did you not what, what what did you not like about it? Um it was, was it just, just too much? Like it, it is like passion fruit juice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, and mean, I can get that and, and there's even some of the stuff that I've been doing with with Helio Gazer where e even and I'm not trying to go crazy with it, but it's almost like how much further do I want to take this yeah, character? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and like it, it's not negative, but like at the same time, it's again, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking a similar language here where, you know, yeah, these things are these things are tools. They, these, these things are. Yeah, sure. Them. Sure. And even I, I, I've even read some stuff and I'm trying to remember who who did it. Um, but they were talking about some side by side stuff of just kind of baseline beers brewed with phantasm, one with thialized strain and one not. And then even talking about some of even in the non thialized beer, some of that character coming through, not like in the same way that it does with the thialized strain. Um, does so, that sound familiar yeah. at all? Richard Price up in Escarpment. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that was him. Maybe it wasn't. Um, but. Yeah, that's somebody I follow for a lot of stuff. But, oh, he's got some, he's um, got some good stuff because he was running a yeah. bunch of stuff on Kavik as well, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 sure. yeah, he, yeah. He's friends with you know he he like made friends Lars with Lars Garishall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.